Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here, and in this video, I want to talk about eliminating string noise, unwanted string noise. There's a few different places that string noise can be produced. One of them is behind the nut or the zero fret. If you're using a slide, and if you're not muting with these fingers here, then you can get some unwanted string noise on this side of the slide. And then also, the string spacing here behind this side of the saddle, in between the saddle and the, the hinge, in this case here, or whatever you use on this side, can cause some unwanted string noise. So if you're playing, you can, you can actually hear that these notes here captured. If I was to not mute, you can hear all that unwanted string noise on the back here. So, I want to talk about eliminating that. All right, let me start off by saying if you're using a magnetic pickup, this is probably not going to be an issue, but for more acoustic instruments and definitely instruments with piezos, it's definitely going to be a problem because these systems pick up the vibrations of the instrument. All right, one of the very first thing you can do, especially if you're doing a slide, um, what I do is I just, I, it's, I call it the Mickey Mouse, right? I'm grabbing the slide with my middle finger and my pinky and I'm squeezing it. So I'm using all three fingers to hold the slide down, which means my index finger here is free to just lay across the strings over here and mute, right? So all the notes on this side here are being killed by the light touch of my index finger. And then I can just slide this guy around here. So that's kind of a, a first strategy, especially for slide. You want, you want to make sure not to push down, right? Just barely touch and just kill the string so that only the string on this side of the slide is being picked up. That's the first thing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill all the strings and hit, and hit here, and you can actually hear these notes. Hear that? So the energy that I'm putting in is transferring up here and wiggling these strings. So a couple of things I can do up here is I can shorten the length of these things by putting in those eyelets and putting a, a, a screw or a nail through it to, to force these strings down. I get two things. Number one, I get more of an angle here, downward angle on the back side of the, of the zero fret. And then also I shorten these things here, reducing uh, the string length and uh, reducing the noise that these strings on the back side here produce. Um, or I can sometimes, if I have a real nuisance note, what I can do is maybe stick some cotton or um, some tissue paper up in here. And, and again, that'll, that'll cause these things to stop um, making noise. And I've also had to do that on the back here. Sometimes people put like little rubber spacers in here or again, if you keep these, the shorter the length that you keep these things, the more energy it's going to take, the less noise is going to be produced. Or you can exploit and capitalize and take advantage of and use to your benefit all of these noises, right? For example, here on this top string, if I was to play really aggressive with a slide, I can produce this note here, this note here, And then, of course, this note here. So, yeah, you can hear that. So, Banging. So up here at the 12th fret, if again, if I'm not muting this side here, then I have these ones here and this one's here. So it should be the same because this is exactly the halfway, right? So th these guys here on this side are the same. So if I slide the slide down this way, these are going to get sharper as these get lower. 
And then the opposite is true. If I come up this way, these get these get sharper. And these get lower. So if I, again, play aggressive and don't mute and just slide, then you're gonna he be hearing both these and these kind of fighting each other. Again, I'm banging it. So there's a lot of fun and a lot of cool noise, musical noise that you can generate simply by embracing all of these unwanted sounds from your handmade instrument. Also, if you come up here to what would be the seventh fret, you have the notes on this side here, and also the notes on this side. Which are actually uh, very sympathetic and very musical notes. So if you don't mute up here at the seventh fret, which is typically the fifth in a blues turnaround, you get the notes on this side and the notes on this side. Which is also... So, you get double your bang for this buck here. Just by simply not muting and allowing that unwanted string noise to be a part of your sound. So, if the notes at the 12th fret sound good on both sides of the slide and the notes at the seventh fret sound good on both sides of the slide wouldn't it stand to reason that the notes at the fifth fret would also sound good on both sides of the slide All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and comment and share. And also, don't forget to check out these other Cigar Box Guitar videos. All right, see you soon.